Good morning. It's another adventure day. We've stayed kind of local this week. We're in uh, Leicestershire, not far from where we live. Um, and we've come to Swivelham Woods, where we've parked the van up. And we will be heading to Bradgate Park and taking in Beacon Hill and taking in, what's that other place called? St John's Tower. Um, amongst other things um, along the way. It's a couple of all trails routes spliced together again to make it about a 20 odd k, 20, 21 k or something like that, just to give us a day's day's worth. And uh, yeah, it's supposed to be varied terrain and a few little bits and pieces to see along the way. So we'll uh, capture it and uh, keep you updated as we go. Okay, so we're just walking sort of out of Swivelham Woods towards Bradgate Park, um, having just crossed the little bridge. And we've decided that we're gonna kind of do this route a little bit backwards and mixed up, aren't we? A little bit. So it's an, quite early on a Sunday morning um, and we've parked at Swivelham purely because it's cheaper than parking at Bradgate, point to note. Um, there are toilets at the Bradgate car park, but not at the Swivelham car park. Another point to note. Okay, so we've got into Bradgate Park. Um, I'm gonna flick this round. So over there is the car park for it and the toilets and stuff. You come in, there's this kind of first thing you see is like this little hill with these rocks on. Gives you a nice view over the reservoir over there. And uh, we're gonna keep walking up and round. And we're just gonna have a little exploring here really. Um, and see what's about. It's supposed to be deer roaming free. So that should be cool, shouldn't it, babe? If we see any, we'll keep you posted. Now, who knew there were rock formations in Leicestershire? Giving you a view like that. Looking out all over the reservoir. Nathan, you're right up there. Yeah. Yeah. You're making out you're on like some top of some mountain, yeah? What side of the mountain? Ground's there. <laughs> <laughs> Fair play. It'll make a good photo. <laughs> uh, there's a map here at the park. So we came in from this side here, yes? We came in from here and we actually parked, I think over here is our other woods. Um, that we just, yeah, we just kind of walked through this field to here from where we started. There's old John Tower, and we're gonna just kind of have a little walk around here first of all before we start our main route, yeah? Peace. He found a 
tree. Just come down, we've reached all the deer and they're looking a bit sheepish as we're walking through. They're nervous. Oh right, the colours. Lovely white one over there. Decent. About as close as you get to a waterfall in Leicestershire. But it's pretty. Okay, so we've reached the other side of Bradgate Park now, and we're here, okay, and we started up here in Swivelham Wood, and we're going up to Beacon Hill, but we're actually going to follow it around this way, I believe, and come in through this door here, yeah, before cutting back down through this, back to Swivelham Wood is our proposed route, yeah? Cool. There you go. Okay, sorted. So we're on this little, we're at this side now. There's a little tea and burger van thing there. This looks like there's toilets this side as well, according to that sign. Tea room. Church, church return, right, yes. I think we've got to walk through this little village a bit now before we pick up on the other side of it. Uh, that's a really nice place that really really nice place and the little info boys we did see there's got some history there I think I Lady Jane Gray yeah I think Lady Jane Gray's got something to do with the place and it's a medieval hunting uh, preserved park as well or something like that and you've got the red and fallow deer running around and yeah there's, there's definitely more to see and do there um, but we're going to go on a hike, right? Okay, okay let's play. This is the little church coming in. Look at that old police box. It's like a TARDIS. Wow. <laughs> Back in the days. <laughs> There's a little ice cream kiosk over the road there. I don't know whether that's open or not. Toilets are there. Now the car park says full here. And it's very early. I mean, we left. How did we start route nine? Yeah, it's, the park is very busy. So if you are going to come here, come early. It's half eleven now. Cool. Right, come on. Let's find our way. Okay, so we've left the village, and uh, we picked up the footpath, which has taken us across a couple of fields, uh, which are a bit muddy. So rinsing off our boots. As we've reached the stream, we need to cross this little bridge and it's signposted for Markfield to our left, but I think we're going right, aren't we? Straight on, there is no straight on, there's left or right, babe. The map says straight on. There's left or right. Left and straight on. Left and left and straight on. Are you sure? I think it's right and straight on. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. I'm wandering through the woods. We just stumbled across what looks like an old derelict house. Renovation project for somebody. Fancy that, babe? Huh? A little bit too difficult. A bit too much work to do. Oh well. We'll bring a tent instead, yeah. Bring, bring the tent instead and wild camp. Yeah. yeah? Want to do that? Yeah. Cool. So note to self, if you do decide to do this hike in the winter months, we're doing it in the end of February. And you do rinse your boots in that stream, don't bother. Because <laughs> it's proper bogging and muddy. <laughs> I killed our boots so many times in the recent weeks. Right, where are we now? What's this? Who? Olver's Croft. Olver's Croft. There you go. All right. Fair enough. Go for the gate. Uh, 
At least there was a bridge. Here's my boots. Likely. <laughs> okay, so we've been walking for about half an hour or so, maybe a little bit longer, just through some muddy trails and down the road, and we've come to the ruins of a old church, which is here. Unfortunately, you can't get into it because it is private land and they're doing some renovation work. You can see some scaffolding up um, and that kind of thing. But it's pretty and it's cute and it's something nice to look at on the way around. Do you know what church it is? No? It's Olvis Croft. We're in Olvis Croft, so. Yeah. If anybody knows what the name of it is, put it in the comments, please. But it's decent. It's cool. Onwards. Okay, so we've just stopped to have a bit of lunch and we're testing out our uh, jet boil, which we got ourselves. And apparently this is supposed to heat up your water in about a minute and a half, isn't it? Something like that. A minute and a half, two minutes or something. It's supposed to be super quick. It's boiling away quite nicely at the moment. So I'll come back. I've got my stopwatch on, so I'll come back and see how long it takes for it to test. It's really easy. The whole cup piece here comes with the lid and the attachment which just screws into the canister and you've got your legs uh, there to stand for a flat surface and voila bit of kit gadgets we like gadgets don't we baby <laughs> all right let's see how long this takes and the second you see it turn orange voila it's boiled and it took a grand total of about a minute and 20 seconds to do so, which is decent. And that has given us enough water. Uh, the V's just about to top hers up. I redid it because I forgot to record <laughs> the boiling <laughs> uh, and the orange bit. The V's got herself a little survival pack meal. I've got myself a cheeky pot noodle kind of thing for today and that's lunch jet boil banging bit of kit man boiling hot water in less than 90 seconds nice okay so after a nice little lunch we've walked through we've uh, we've hit the road about to walk down the road for a couple of hundred meters until we come to here and now we're heading into beacon hill country park which is kind of like what phase three of our hike kind of thing isn't it yeah? yeah so obviously we had like Bradgate this morning uh, yes I've changed hats by the way because it got a bit cold um, <laughs> so yeah we had like Bradgate this morning when we was looking at St John's Tower and the Deer Park and all that kind of thing and we've had a nice cross-country hike uh, a very varied mixed cross-country hike with yeah villages and streams and muddy trails and a bit of road and a bit of gravel and a bit of forest and, a, and such like we've just found something I don't know whatever that is um, and now we've reached this section we just worked out we're about 14k into it yeah I think it's got to be right babes I keep saying it's right and you keep telling me it's left place your bets folks left or right Look, why is it? I bet it's not. I bet it's completely right. But she's just said that just so she can be right, as usual. <laughs> <laughs> just giving me the snottiest look going. <laughs> okay, it was left. All right, let's go. <laughs> okay, so we've come to a field and there's lots of cows in it. And if you know me from our previous videos, I'm not a big fan of cows, especially cows with horns um, especially when one horn, horns pointing upwards and one horns pointing downwards uh, yeah but luckily we haven't got to go that way <laughs> which is a bonus <laughs> we're going the other way <laughs> which is even better <laughs> no. escaped <laughs> this way up the rather nice tree lined Path. Baby. Did it. 
Uh, come across a bird, look out, bird hide. Hey, and disappear from shot. <laughs> Just <laughs> see what you can see. Can't help myself. I'm going up. This is the view from the top. Having a look out. There's more of those cows. It's nice. Camera don't do it justice. Okay, so we have stumbled across what is known as Jules Hill. Uh, nice little sign on the gate. Pretending that we're knowledgeable. <laughs> And it looks like a little bit of a playground. Uh, we're going to go on, Explore time. The thing is, I've been over there. and It's not actually that high, but it messes with your head a little bit. It's like it's quite a big drop, it's quite a big drop on the other side, isn't it? Yeah. Like, and it's not even either. Yeah, no, nothing, nothing is flat either. It just kind of messes with you. It's cool. It's smart. Trick point. Yep. Let's go. We've still got some walking to do, bub. Let's go. And we're 10 miles in, yeah? 10 miles and 5 hours. Let's go. See, this is one of life's big choices. Cafe or summit? Hmm. Which one do you do first? Okay, so we've left Beacon Hill Country Park. We've crossed over the road. And we found ourselves at Broombriggs Farm and Windmill Hill Country Park, which is on the other side of the road. V's over there, she's gone through this gate. And then we're gonna follow this trail. This trail all the way up. What we got here? Part of the National Forest. We've got the remains of an old windmill. Cool. Something to keep our eyes open for, babe. All right, okay, let's go. Okay, so we reached Windmill Hill, where the old corn windmill is. It used to produce corn for the Bow Manor Hall Estate, apparently, throughout the 19th century. There's talk of doing some restoration after it caught fire in 1945. Uh, in the 60s they hoped it would be restored but it didn't happen now it's just something for walkers there she is in all her glory and I'm talking about the windmill not V but there she is too <laughs> you <all> right, baby <laughs> get a smile 
There you go. Sorted. Okay, yeah. There's quite a few little trails off of here that are round. These off down there. If you want to go for a wander that way, we're going to follow our route, which should take us back. Um, where's it going to take us to? It's going to take us to our start point woods. Yeah, it should take us back to our Swiveland woods, hopefully. Um, we'll get there soon, more or less, and it should be roughly about that 20 odd K, 20, 25K. We'll see how it pans out. It's nice though. Weather keeps changing, moment it is like cold, isn't it? And then the next minute the sun comes out and it's pretty warm and that kind of thing. But yeah, it's decent. It's a very nice hike this. Very, very good. There's lots to see along the way, lots to keep you sort of interested and entertained and you know have a little explore and be a big kid. Very, very varied grass, woodland trails, bit of roady gravel kind of thing. One minute you're in forests and you're standing on top of rocks on a summit point with an extra trig. It's good, it's, it's definitely a nice one. And you wouldn't believe you're in Leicestershire in the Midlands, would you? You wouldn't believe it. It's good, views all around as well, it's nice. I uh, do this justice, but I can see for miles and miles down there. It's decent, it's nice. Right, you ready to move on? You wanna check, you wanna check out more rocks? All right, we'll check more rocks, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> just because it's there you had to climb it right obviously, obviously. well uh, i'm over here if you're like supposed to look at me <laughs> there you go are you happy now yeah clearly Okay, which way, which way down are you going? And shall I film it? I'm filming now. It won't be very gracious. <laughs> All right, I'll put the I'll put the adoring fans out of their misery, and I'll switch off and let you clamber down. <laughs> Come on. Um, once we've finished off at the windmill. Uh, and we've reached the road and we've walked a few little trails and I think we're now back in Swivelham Woods, right? Yep. Does that say Swivelham Wood? Well, we're just Swivelham Wood, put the camera on at the right time. There you go. Back to our starting woodland and so within Swivelham Wood. There's a thing called the Great Pit, but it's hidden behind all this fencing. Can you see anything? The thing is, we we're trying to get a view, but it's just, you see all these like trails and ups and downs, ups and downs, ups and downs, sort of going all the way around it. Hey, she found something. Oh, my feet are starting to work now. I've been walking for nearly seven hours and 23k. It's been a long day. <laughs> a long old day for a Sunday. Have you seen anything in there? Ah, let me flick. I don't know if you can make out between the wire. There is a big filled in pit she's gone exploring up here can you see something yeah oh what you got it's the great pit which you can't actually access it's all fenced off wait are we going down or round wow. we're going round <laughs> why are you copping out that'd be good fun It'd be a trail runner's dream round here, wouldn't it? Running up and down all these hills and... If that's your thing. That's my thing. Maybe in a different pair of shoes. And without a... I got like a banging heavy pack on today. Training for something. To be continued. <laughs> right. Where are you going now? 
right <laughs> go around again oh nice and easy rinse the boots off and that's it we're back at the van just over 23k six hours 50 minutes v's banging the mud off her boots Making a noise in a racket whilst I'm trying to record. Thanks, babe. <laughs> You're always welcome. Yeah, pest. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right, no, anyway. Um, yeah, just over 23k, six hours, 50 minutes. Absolutely decent hike. Really, 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 really good. I'll put the uh, Garmin up and the screenshots of the route and whatever it is and so on. Hope you liked it. Hit subscribe. Thanks for watching. Enjoy. Until the next time. Boom.